withdraw thyself from me, or where shall I go? Beautiful song. Thank you for joining me in your houses, mercy. nurses and nurses. You may be seated. Let's tell a hand you to stand too long. Um, before I get into the text for this morning, there are several uh, series that are on CNN. Um, take advantage of those. Now you will see uh, one where it says finding Jesus. Um, we know that we don't look for a bodily person, um, but uh, you need to look at some of the things. And one of those things that they kind of, you have to look at and you read your Bible with you, um, that they are missing in one of the scenes is where Jesus is coming to John the Baptist and uh, he, uh, John, baptizes him. Uh, the question has been asked, why did uh, uh, Jesus do that? Uh, and there are two reasons why Jesus did that. Number one, he validated uh, the uh, prophecy that he was to come. Amen. And the second reason he did it was to validate John's ministry. Amen. Because if he had done anything else, they'd have been saying, hey, well, what's, what's up with this? You need to know some of these things. Don't let... TV paint a picture. Amen. And it is significant of what he did. Now they've got another one that'll come out next week. It's called The Gospel of Judas. Look at it, but don't believe it. So the thing is, uh, it was written 300 years after the fact. There is no historical validation to it. I'm just trying to help you. Uh, because this is what the world is using to try to start confusion with the scriptures. So you need to read your Bible, you need to know, and put it beside you so that you can go to uh, that. So I, I just thought I'd give you that one for free. Um, uh, it, it